Sometimes leaving your comfort zone. You want to leave your skis in here, Bill? Means staying up a little too late. If anything, I overpacked. Winter campers make last minute tweaks. All right. Good. Before going off Minnesota's grid. Yeah, I live for these trips, big time. Tomorrow's trip is a long time coming. See, Adam Hunsley and Nick Lisi always wanted to winter camp, so they started with the basics. A simple one-night training trip on a Twin Cities lake. Two years ago. I'll do it again. For sure I will. Both bought winter equipment and even built their own trekking sleds from scratch. It feels cool to have a piece of gear that I'll, know I'll have forever, probably give it to my kids, um, and that I made it. That was then. This is now. Stand warm. So far, we're about two minutes into it. Nick and Adam hope the next three days might ice their reputations as hardcore cold weather campers. <laughs> Time will tell. My toes are cold. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Let's roll. I mean, slide. The U.S. Forest Service reports roughly 150,000 people visit the Boundary Waters each year. It's incredible. But fewer than 3,000 brave winter conditions. Exactly why most winter campers never see another soul. <laughs> we would be the exception. What is going on? Boundary Waters traveler Dan Cook appears out of the white. Hey, never hugged somebody on skis before. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> hey, bud. A friend, a mentor, and a guy who can scare the snow pants off you. Well, we got a heck of a portage in front of you. I bet you. It's uh, not trial by fire, it's trial by volcano. Ahead, a roughly half mile hike between lakes an uphill jaunt over the river and through the woods. Oh, hi. It was a uh, twisty turny up and down. Kind of made me feel like I was a little out of shape, perhaps. But I'm not. The legs got a little sore for some reason. You have to earn it, for sure. <laughs> the payoff comes half a day in. Partridge! When we finally sneak onto Partridge Lake. Holy cow, look at this. A remote 127 acre oasis we will soon call home. Time and travel move at a very different pace deep in the winter woods. Good job, boys. Winter campers burn the better half of a day to make Partridge Lake camp. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you, Bill. Hey, buddy. How's it going? We meet the new neighbors yeah. and settle in. I think I'm going to shovel a bit. Before I came on this trip, I had a couple dreams, and I kind of dreamt of I'd love to have, you know, snow coming down. I'd love to have snow on the trees. Crazy, but it's one of my favorite things in the world. I just can't believe it. You know, it's just, there's so few people that do this. Adam Hunsley and Nick Lisi tackled their first snowy Boundary Waters trip. Their massive snow pile will eventually become a massive snow cave. Snow cave is shoveled. Now it's time for teepee. Mm -hmm. 
everything that you need to do is, it, it takes up time. I mean, it's a process, it takes time, but no, I wouldn't say it's hard. It's fun, really fun. It's been awesome. Just before dark, it's not setting up very well. We quickly hollow out our snow cave shelters. Very spacious already. Sometimes, even the best strategy goes amiss. It's gonna be nice, it's getting dark though. Exactly why the next morning. Good morning, Adam. Good morning. The guys wake up in the teepee. How about some hot, fresh coffee, Adam? And not their snow cave castle. Oh, it was so disappointing. We had just this beautiful pile of snow. I don't know if we got too late of a start or not good enough snow. We were just putting the finishing touches on it, but we had a little, little collapse. Nick takes one last scoop, and I swear the whole thing just went boom. Yeah, I don't like to talk about that. We don't like to talk about that one. And the guys stake out their backup plan. This has become a trip of shelters. What's this one called? This is the, uh, the bunker. Adam, curl in there, see if I have enough room to sit up. I love it. Good job. Perfect. Yeah. It's half the fun of being here. Oh my gosh. The other fun half will come right after lunch. Here, no way, nice one. work long enough, team sport, and hard enough. Holy cow, is it pretty. You find yourself with free time in winter camp, a moment to just be. It's so quiet, I cannot believe how quiet it is. It's a, it's a different kind of quiet, and it's just awesome. Silent until this happens. Boy, did it take line. Oh. Remote lake trout fishing comes with challenges. Drilled about 25 holes. Started as far away from camp as possible. You have to be in here somewhere. Finding fish on a new lake can get tricky. So I pop up a tip up on the edge of camp. Set it and forget it. Holy crap, look at it. Oh my gosh. Jeez, just flying, taking line. Drought. Woo! Beauty. We have trout. Of course, the, the three holes we drilled closest to camp are the ones where we, we started to hit. Yeah! <laughs> Take the time. I don't know, my, my heart was racing. You know, the second I felt that, I said, you know, I was like, hey guys, you know, I've got a, I got a hit, and, and it, it went away. Um, and then shortly after I dropped it down again, and bam, it was on. The drag was gone, and I didn't want to get too excited and just reel it up right away. You know, you gotta kind of let it do its thing. On the board. <laughs> See, the work is worth the I know, it is. All day long. Yeah! We celebrate remote life outdoors on ice. The fish have been awesome. There it is, a partridge laker. We're gonna be eating good tonight. Quite a day of fishing. <laughs> I mean,
mean, it'd be it'd be a good trip either way, but the the fishing has been, yeah, so much fun. Nice one. A few days ago, Adam and Nick started as relative winter camping rookies. I was nervous. You know, I've never done this before. My, how things change. I, I totally didn't expect this. Trout's here. You know, I thought I'd be cold. I thought I'd be inconvenient. Uh, that smells excellent. Okay, put some rice on it. Okay. And this is a total different experience. It's just great. This is very tasty. It was so good. I, I haven't had a better fish in a long time. Fantastic. Awesome, guys. This has been awesome. Incredible. Everything I've asked for. And more. Rough winter weather greets us for cleanup and our trek out. It'll fit. <laughs> Just will take some uh, persuasion. That's my good luck charm from the boys. Every time I leave, I start dreaming of coming back. This time, I, I would do it again in a heartbeat. I am not alone.